Are you all happy? Yeah, my dear friends, let us be happy to offer this Eucharist. Even though we are unworthy, out of his love and concern for us, he will make us worthy, especially by hearing the word of God. And that word has got power. And that power is will be with us and will be distributed equally amidst us. Let us join our hands. Close our eyes for a moment. And we pray that you offer this Mass in a worthy manner. Though sinful we are, out of his mercy, he has been kind enough to us to partake in this Holy Eucharist. Let's forgive everyone, whoever has hurt us. Let's forgive everyone of our enemies. And we ask also forgiveness from those, our, friend, our family, our enemies, and all those who have hurt us, made our life miserable sometimes. We are sorry for not forgiving our brothers and sisters as Jesus did from the cross. Let the Holy Spirit come upon us, each one of us, and we lead a happy, grace-filled life. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today's theme is Word of God. God's power is revealed and experienced in His Word. Jeremiah warned the people of their eventual destruction because of idolatry and sin. Even then, they did not return to God. The Word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword dividing asunder soul and spirit. It is a discerner of thoughts and intents of the heart. Prophet Isaiah says, let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous his thoughts. Let him return to God and he will have mercy upon him. He will forgive us let us ask the Lord to forgive our many sins and act according to his word. His word is enough for us for the forgiveness of our sins. Let us recall to mind the sins we have committed and ask God to forgive us. Let's all together. I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to my brothers and sisters, to pray, to pray for me to the, the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas, and since without your mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us all with the help of your grace, that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Let the wicked forsake their way and the unrighteous their thoughts. Let them return to the Lord that he may have mercy on them and to our God for he will abundantly pardon. For your thoughts are not your for you, my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven and do not return there until they have watered the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose and succeed in the thing for which I sent it. For you shall go out in joy and be led back in peace. The mountains and the hills before you shall burst into song, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorn shall come up the cypress, instead of the brer shall come up the myrtle, and it shall be to the Lord for a memorial, for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Your response shall be, Blessed are those who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who walk in the law of the Lord.
gospel acclamation. one just as you father are in me and i in you so that the world may believe that you have sent me says the lord The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus lifted up his eyes to heaven and prayed, saying, I do not ask for this only, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, that they may all be one, just as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they also may be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. The glory that you have given me, I have given to them, that they may be one even as we are one, I in them and you in me, that they may become perfectly one, so that the world may know that you sent me and loved them even as you loved me. Father, I desire that they also, whom you have given me, may be with me where I am, to see my glory that you have given me, because you loved me before the foundation of the world. O righteous Father, even though the world does not know you, I know you, and these know that you have sent me. I made known to them your name, and I will continue to make it known that the love with which you have loved me may be in them and I in them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends in Christ Jesus, you all are happy today, I know. You all know why you all are happy? 13 days novenas are getting over today. Our Siddharamaya government, such a wonderful and nice person. Why? Why? Because of the five guarantees what he has given us. And women are more lucky. Why? They are going to get free bus throughout Karnataka. Don't make the mistake of going one step out of Karnataka. You will be charged four times. Secondly, he has given us, he said he is giving power free, electricity free. How many rupees or how many units? 200 units, which they had to give us for all the parishes also. 
because units are more than 400, 500. In his power, he is doing this. You know the power of Mr. Modi, Narendra Modi. In his power, what he has done, few years back, he banned the 1,000 rupees and 500 rupees notes. Why? So that all the black money will become white. He's so clever and is so good, he turned that 1,000 rupee note into 2,000 rupee notes. So instead of keeping so much, we can keep so much only. We can stack notes and notes, because out of his power, want to show his power. And now, the other day, just to show his powerful ways, he inaugurated the Parliament House. Actually, it would have been given to the President. But no, I am greater than the President. So he did it. He inaugurated it. Fortunately, he did not bless it. My dear friends, what is power? When we see our authorities, since they have got power, they want to work on that power and to show we are powerful. Ami adhikaran barlele asad, amche mukharani konans naan. In John's Gospel, 1, 1, 2, 3, it is read like this. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning, beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him nothing came to be. God is showing his power now, my dear friends. But his power is the humble power, the simple power, not like the authorities. Because they are seeing, once they have got power, they can do anything. Pope also has got the power. But his power also is just like God, humble power. He doesn't rule over like, but he suggests and gives something good, good where he, we can bring the people to God out of his love. In Matthew 28, 18, it is said, Jesus said, all power is given to me in heaven and on earth. Is there any way that Christ has no power? The answer is no. He has power over everything. Now, how do we know God has power? And his word has got power. And the power itself is the word of God. In Genesis 1.1, 1, 1, we read, In the beginning, God created the heaven and earth. That means it includes everything he created. Is there anywhere that Christ has no power? Or sorry, is there anything which is not created by God? Everything. But who, cre who made this reading stand? Did God make or someone else made? Who made this? You made? The carpenter made it. So is he God? He is not God. And he did not do this reading stand out of his word. He did it with his skill and with the wood and he did all this thing. Now we see, my dear friend, Especially, the word of God is power. How we find out? We have to go for the creation of the world. In Genesis, the methodology of creation, as I say, in Genesis 1 and 3, Genesis 1 and 6, Genesis 1 and 9, Genesis 1 and 11, Genesis 1 14, Genesis 1 20, Genesis 1 24, Genesis 1 26, Genesis 1 29. What is the word said? And God said. What did he say? Repeat. And God said. See the word of power said. He said, let there be light. And there was darkness. No? Why? He said, let there be light. And there was light. 
He said, let there be vegetation life, and there was vegetation life, the plants and the fruits, and every flowers, the creepers. Let there be fish, he said. Let there be animals, he said. I would like to ask one question to you all. I don't remember whether I asked last year or elsewhere. I don't know. Now, let, let us. God created this whole world in four stages, as I say. The first stage was he created the sun, the moon, and the stars. Second stage, God created, with his one word, he created the vegetation life, the trees, the creepers, the flowers. Now tell me which is greater. The sun and the moon is greater or the plants and the trees are greater. Come on, answer me. Sun and moon, most of the same. No. Sun and moon is not greater. The second creation, creation of his word, that is, he created the trees and the plants, that is greater than the first creation. Why? Sun and moon, does it increase and multiply? Does it increase and multiply? There's only one sun, one moon. Stars don't tell me there are a lot of stars. You see it in the, star, in the sky. But the second creation is greater than the first creation. See the power of the word now. The first creation itself, that is sun and the moon, is very powerful. But this word of God has got the greater power because they grow, increase and multiply. Then the third creation what God creates is with his one word, let there be animals and birds. Now tell me, which is greater? Animal and birds are greater, the trees and the plants are greater, or the sun and the moon is greater? Take courage. Tell me, which is greater? You're angry on me? Tell me, which is greater? The animal life is more greater. Why? Animal life is greater than the trees and the sun and the moon. It not only increases and multiplies, but the animal life and the bird life has got movements. The trees don't move, isn't it? The plants don't move. The sun doesn't move. The world moves, not the sun and the moon. Now, fourth creation, fourth stage of creation, God created, he said, let there be man, isn't it? Did he say that? Hello? I don't know why hello or not. He said, no? Let there be man. No? No. He, he changes his words now. See the powerful words now. He changes his words. He, cha he said, let there be moon, let there be sun, let there be plants, let there be uh, animal life. But he did not say, let there be man. He is now, he changes the word. Now, let us make man in our own image and likeness. Does the sun and the moon replicate, is it, uh, does it uh, uh, show God's face and all? No. Does the plants have got the face of God or something? No. But only the human beings are created in the form of God. Now let us make man in our own image and likeness. Our own image means God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Our image, now he uses not the singular word, let us know. Now let us make man in our own image and likeness. Have you anybody seen God? Tell me. Just raise your hand if anybody has seen, seen God. Has anybody seen devil? Has anybody seen devil? Sin? Look at me. Look at me. I'm the devil, biggest devil. My dear friend, God doesn't have a physic body like, and devil also doesn't have a body like me, like human beings. That's why we have to find this God's creation, the word of God, in our human beings. Whenever I look at a person, a human being, I have to say, I have to think, this is the replica of God. This is God's creation in the image of God's likeness. 
my brother, my sister, and me, we are created like him. Why do you all think, my dear friends, in this world there's so much of cheating, so much of mess in this world, murder, killing, all sorts of things are there? It's just because we have failed to recognize God in our brothers and sisters. Now see the power of the word, my friends. Just one word. God said, let there be. And it came into being. Now in New Testament, we hear the word of God, the God's word, Jesus' word, one word. Jesus said in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. That one word was enough for whom to come out? Lazarus. One word. He was a dead man, dead for not one day, two days, three days, but for four days. His sister says, Lord, he's dead for four days. It will be stinking now. But Jesus doesn't bother all these things. He's not bothered about what you say, what each person says. He says, Lazarus, come out. And Lazarus comes out. And if today, my dear friend, when we go for funerals, and if somebody had to come back to life, what we would have done? I think the priest would be the first one to run away. This fellow will not run away. I'll be very happy that he has come back to life. But till today, no human being has performed such a miracle that dead people have come back. If you have seen some Protestant guys doing that, don't believe all those things. Don't believe in all those things. Sometimes they want to take a, a glorification for them. I still remember one small incident. A Protestant pastor was praying over a person, saying that you all don't mind your people. He said, you all don't believe in devil. I will show the devil is there. He, and he, he, he was praying over a person, one young youth, young boy, and that fellow, the way he was dancing on the floor, la 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 la, like this, and making a hell of noise and all these things. And he's saying, Devil, a evil one, I'm telling you, come out, come out, come out. Suddenly, that youth's phone rang, mobile rang, so he took his mobile and he started saying that. The pastor forgot to tell him, in case the phone rings up, don't take it up. My dear friend, this is simply glorification. That is not the word of God, I'm telling you. That word has no power. But the real word uh, power which the word has got is when God says something, and when we use the same word, when we use the same word of God, that has got power, my dear friend. See, Jesus is one word. Lazarus, come out. And he came out. Today, Jesus Say the same word to me and to you. Our own, he uses his power, my dear friend, and is saying, come out of your sinfulness. Come out of your sinful life. Come out of your sinfulness. Come out of your, uh, uh, what do you call that? Come out of your... I'm sorry, I'm not getting the word. Bhai re tuja! Garvatan, hankaratan, from your pride. Come out of your pride. And Jesus is telling that word every day to us. He is saying one word, be humble, and we have to be humble, my dear friends. And when the centurion went to Jesus and told him in Matthew chapter 8, verse 8, centurion asked Jesus to heal his servant. Lord, my servant is ill. Come, Jesus says, come, we'll go to your house. But what do the centurion say? What does the centurion say? Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter my roof. Lord, I'm not worthy to enter my roof. But only say the, loudly, only say the word and my servant shall be healed. See how much the centurion has got... Uh, Confidence has got faith in the word of God, Jesus. He said, just say one word and my servant shall be cured. My servant shall be healed. In Matthew 8, 16, we read, In the evening, many were brought to him. He cast out the demons with his only one word. And when the widow's son was going for the funeral at Kafar now, what happened? 
the only son of the widow was sick and he felt sorry jesus felt sorry for the widow and he stopped them and he said get up and the person who was dead he got up my dear friend same thing jesus uses this powerful word to drive out all the demons and we see the power of the word in matthew 12 13 he tells the person with a withered hand stretch out your hand and what happened he stretches out his hand see the power my dear friend power of the word of jesus in matthew 15 30 we say he healed them of various diseases and pains demonics epileptics paralytics blind people he healed them with only one word my dear friend only one word he healed them and we see in matthew 8 chapter 8 verse 2 a leper comes to him and what does he say my lord if you wish you can make me clean if you wish you can make me clean to ek kushta roga cho jesu lagi veta ani munta jesu tuka jay seler tu e maka bare korong data and what did jesus say no 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 i don't have time no did he say that no i wish maka khushi asa borosa maka khushi asa i wish i have i love you i wish i don't want you to suffer i wish be healed be cured my dear friends many times when we are sick when we are overburdened with lot of problems and the tensions of this world tensions of the family so many tensions what do we do every sickness every problem has got power in this word of god just open the bible just read the word of god every day my dear friends and see you will get a solution for all your problems needn't go to this person that person and all go to jesus himself because the word is with us today Jesus says the same thing to us with he uses only one word be healed be cured he uses a powerful word saying your problems are solved your diseases are over your family problems are solved live a happy married life if you at all we go to him only my dear friends he speaks to us the word of god now let us recall today let us recall to mind most of the time people ran behind jesus no saying that what if only i can touch him the woman with 12 years of problems of bleeding what does he say she thinks in her mind she doesn't say if only i can touch him i will be healed and she had collected all the power all the strength she went to jesus and just touched his cloak and what did jesus say power has gone out of me who has touched me and this lady trembling and fearful i don't know what is jesus going to say it is me my lord and what did jesus say your faith has healed you my dear friend we needn't run behind all these things now because why we need we needn't go and touch the cloak so a cloak a cloak of uh, jesus because jesus is in us every eucharist yesterday we meditated on the body and blood of christ every eucharist jesus is in us my dear friend no need of going and search for him here and there going to porta going to this retreat going to that retreat running behind this brother running behind that priest no jesus is in us once jesus we receive jesus in a worthy manner in our hearts my dear friend you ask him you talk to him you have to speak your word to him because he's ready to listen to us how many day how many times we go and we talk to jesus most of us are very good in praying isn't it we are very good in praying we go to the lord and we say we i want this i want that you give me this you do this maga hence maga tense asha me sanda but have we ever patiently waited and listened to him Have you ever told Jesus I have spoken to you enough now now you speak to me 
and Jesus will speak the word of God. He'll speak the word of life, my dear friends. He'll speak to us the word of life. What We are so happy and we are so lucky, my dear friends. For everything, we have to read the Bible. We have to read the gospel. I still remember Father Joe Swettingel, who is in Logos Retreat Center. He says, if you want to be really healed of a very bad disease, which is unhealed, not cured at all. When doctors have said we cannot do anything about this disease, he says, do the spiritual ICU prayer. That is, nine days, you read the nine chapters per day from the New Testament, starting from St. Matthew, nine chapters of the Bible, and nine divine mercy chaplets you recite. And on the tenth day, after reading on nine days, go for a good confession, Go for a take part in adoration because the word of God which you read is going to heal you and going to give an answer for all your problems. Let's close our eyes, my dear friend. When Jesus himself has got the power in his word, let us go to him. Let us rush to him every day. Speak, Lord. Your servant is listening. Speak your word, Lord, and I shall be healed. Speak your word, Lord, and my family will be saved. Speak your word, Lord, and I will go for a good confession. Speak your word, Lord, and I will be humble enough. Speak your word, Lord, so that I will love my brothers and sisters without any condition. Let's ask God to give us this grace today during this liturgy so that we respect the word of God, we fall in love with the word of God, we read the word of God, and not only read it, we follow the word of God and live the word of God. Amen. Let's all stand. Let's place before the Lord all our prayers and petitions. Our response shall be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, the Catholic Church is divided. The people are scattered and some are following other sects. Draw them closer to your heart and bring them back to your sheepfold. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Lord, he said, eat my body and drink my blood, and you will have eternal life. Hearing this, many turned away from you. Even today, we do not pay heed to your word. Draw us closer to you and instill in us the love for the word of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Thank you for the occasional rain which you gave us. We trust that you hear our prayer and continue to bless us with much needed rain. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Thank you for this liturgy which you gave us wherein we heard your word. Fill us with your grace and blessings. Touch us as you touch St. Paul, that we may be able to proclaim your word to the people whom we come in contact with. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Bless the sick and the needy. Touch them and heal them. May the water which gushes forth from your side cleanse them. Sprinkle your precious blood upon them and heal them completely. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Bless the priest who celebrated today's Eucharist. May the healing power, grace, and blessings flow through them and touch our hearts. Fill them with your Holy Spirit and strengthen them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let's pray for our personal intentions. Lord, we thank and praise you for the beautiful occasion what you have given us. You have made us feel free to speak to you. 
and every day you speak your word to us. Lord, bless each and every one of us. Let us give the first preference in our life for the word of God. This we ask through Christ our Lord. brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice of mine and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will, and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the re resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. as we celebrate the memorial of your death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by his Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with our Pope Francis, our Bishop Derek, and all the clergy, Remember also our brothers and sisters, we have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all we have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints we have pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you, through your Son, Jesus Christ. Let's all join our hands. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done. done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, 
my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. eyes. Sumya Jesu Krista, Tuji Kur Ani Raga Thao Siyung Veta, Timu Je Zerti Ani Khyas Thadi Na Sao, Poon Tujhe Kakul Tien, Mujhe Atmiya Tushin Kudi Bala Ki Ani Vak Karte Ho. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called for the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that you should enter my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of God. Kindly take him number D105 on page number 147. Page number 147.
friends let's close our eyes join our hands in adoration to jesus who has come into our hearts mogachanu to jesus christ jivan jesus kudin raktan atmyan amcha kal janta illa asa amka apurchak amka gun karong amchi kutma ami tas kal janta illa jesus samarpan devya कोणाकी जर तर कसली पिडा आसा जाली जर त्याच जेजूक सांगा इफ एनी बडी इज हॅव्हिंग एनी एलमेंट्स ऑर सिकनेस टेल जेजस हू हॅज कम इन टू युअर हार्ट्स जेजस टच मी युअर वन वर्ड इज इनफ फॉर मी इट्स नॉट ओनली युअर वर्ड लॉट युअर होल सेल्फ युअर सेल्फ हॅज कम इन टू माय हार्ट आय थँक एन प्रेस यू जेजस जेजस डू नॉट अलाव मी टू फॉल इन टू सेन जेजू 
आणि ह्या पुढे मग पातकान पडूंक सोडी नका सगळे पातकाचे संदर्भ आम्ही चुकून घेऊन मग कृपा दी ह्या वरवी हमें सदांच तुका हरसोंग आणि तू मुझ्या काळजांत सैरो जाऊन आयला आहे ते सैऱ्या पण आमचे मध्ये आसूंक जा तो आमचं मोगाचं ईश जाऊन असा आहे द नो आर द फ्रेंड सो फ्रेंडली हू इज लाईक जिजस दॅट्स वॉट वी ऑलवेज से वॉट ए फ्रेंड वी हॅव इन जिजस दुलोब जिजू मोगाळ उदार कितलो मोवाळ ईस्ट आमचं लेट एस थँक जिजस please repeat after me jesus son of david have mercy on me jesus son of david have mercy on me jesus son of david have mercy on me jesus my lord and god jesus my healer heal me Jesus my healer heal me of all the ailments Jesus my healer heal my soul Jesus my healer heal my family kalzan tailya mogala jesu ha mujhe jivit tuka samarpan dita jesu mujhe sangata तू राव तू मुझो खरो इष्ट जाऊन असाय मुझ्या कष्टान आणि दुखांत सदांच हा तुझे सरशे धावून येऊ कृपा दे तुझो आशीर्वाद मुझेर मुझ्या कुटुंबाचेर मुझ्या गावांचेर मुझ्या देशाचेर तू घाल जेसो हाले लुया हाले लुया हाले लुया हाले लुया जस्ट फॉर अ मोमेंट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू प्रे फॉर एनीबडी जस्ट प्रे फॉर दॅम बिकॉज द जीजस इज कम इन आ हार्ट वी टू कॅन टेल जीजस द सेम वर्ड ॲज अ सेंच्युर अँड सेट लॉर्ड जस्ट से द वर्ड अँड आय शॅल बी हिल्ड जीजस जस्ट से द वर्ड अँड माय होल फॅमिली विल बी सेव्ह let us pray may your healing work o lord free us we pray from doing evil and lead us to what is right through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god bless you father son and the holy spirit amen, amen. go forth the mass is ended thanks be to god announcements once again i thank for the anaclitus dimello for offering this mass breaking the word of god and giving us a beautiful message on the power of god i thank for the monsignor joseph philip kutty for the stanley de souza for the gerald and brother thomas for joining for this mass and helping us i thank today's liturgy group sisters volunteers altar servers and choir members for their melodious singing and samuel for playing the organ up to the mass we will go for a short procession kindly follow the ushers or the volunteers and the police personnel while going either we will recite the rosary or we will sing the hymns when we come back we will have the novena prayer and blessing of bread tomorrow morning 7:30 am mass in konkani padanaklidus dumello will say that mass and in the evening 
5 30 pm rosary and followed by mass it will be celebrated by our bishop derek fernandez during the novena days we were praying for different intentions and particularly we have prayed the persecuted manipur people tomorrow cri and the lady commission condemning the act going to read out the memoranda which they are going to present to the dc's office later means tomorrow they are only reading here the memorandum and then later they will go and present it to the dc's office that will take place a short time after the rosary so kindly bear with us donations received vanita kolapuri 500 kaitan Cyril Fernandez 1000, Teresa Manuel Lobo 1000, Mary Pius Lobo 500, Sylvester and Priyanka Lobo 1000, Pius and Mary Lobo 5000, Rita Anthony Rodriguez 25000, Jairaj Pillay and family 1500, Elena and Philomena Pinto 5000, Gilbert Raichur 1000, Anonymous 500, Salvina Gomez 500, Y.D. John 1500, Francis John 1000, Kaitan De Costa 5000, Aislin De Souza 500, Carmelin Gomes 1000, Francis De Souza 500, Glenn Sequera and family 1500, Glenn and Anita Vikram Sequera 1500, John Silva 2000, Luis Goddard and family 3000, Rose Azai 1000, Anisha Albert Lobo 1000, Rachel Lobo 1000, Anonymous 500, Sital Disoza 1000, Carmelina Francis Fernandez 3000, Marita Joseph Godard 1000, Sobin James John 2000, John J. Almeida 700, Santan de Mello 2000, Sagaya Swami and family 5000, Clarin Swami and family 500, Andrika Edgar and Pine de Souza 6000, Stella de Souza 500, Anonymous 1000, Anonymous 1000, Margaret Joseph Pinto, 500. Thanks for your generosity. Now we'll go for procession. Kindly make the two lines. And there are candles. The volunteers kindly distribute the candles. If they are old and if you don't want to come, I think we should be given them freedom. Don't force. But the others can please go.
we will begin the Novena prayers. I salute you from my heart. I salute you a thousand times, O Saint Anthony. You are a chosen vessel of divine grace. Jesus is with you. You are blessed as the humblest and the most admirable son of your seraphic father, Saint Francis. Remember, O remember, miraculous saint, that you have never refused to help those who invoke you in their needs. Animated by a lively confidence and certainty of not asking in vain, I have recourse to you who are so rich in grace and the most favored friend of the infant Jesus. O Saint Anthony, Saint of Miracles, Saint of Relief, I also require your aid. I need this favor. Please mention your favor. Console me, therefore, in my present necessity, and give me the help that I expect from you with such confidence. Bless me in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of him, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was, the beginning is now, ever shall be, world without, and amen. Blessing of bread. I help is in the name of the Lord. Who has made the heaven and earth. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, the bread of angels, living bread of eternal life, deign to bless this bread. As you blessed the five loaves in the desert, that all who taste of it, receive from it health, both of body and soul, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. 